In this problem, we're given a graph of the electric field here and a rod over here with different radiuses along the way. You can see how the electric field would correspond like differently to those particular radiuses. And so we need to try to figure out what we know and what equations we're supposed to use because we know the electric field. And so maybe we should use some of the equations that involve the electric field. So let's write those down. It would be like E equals V over L. And yeah, we kind of even know the length. It should be that. So that maybe that could work. Although we don't know the voltage, so that's not really going to help too much. But let's see what else we know. Because we also know an equation like J equals conductivity times the electric field. So like that might help. And one really important thing to remember is that no matter what the size of this radius or the shape of the the wire along the way, is that the current is always the same. So the current is always uh, the same. So like that means that we should be able to use equations involving I and because like they'll all be the same numbers. Um, let's try to think about what equation we know involving I and maybe involving one of these variables as well. Um, well, uh, apparently we also know that I is equal to JA. And so that might work because, um, yeah, so we can actually just plug CE into this equation. And so we'll get I equals CE. A. And now we have a couple of things that we know. Um, this is going to be the same throughout all the things. And because it's the same material, the conductivity is also going to be the same. So like, that's, that's cool. It's also the same material, can, keeping that in mind. Same material means it has the same conductivity. Because that's an intrinsic pr uh, property of the material, so it's always going to be the same. So now we can try to use this equation to solve this problem. And uh, we'll just go I equals conductivity times the electric field at point one, which in order to do that, we need to scale it down from 5.2 uh, E to the third is going to be 5200. So from there, notice how there's four notches, one, two, three, and four, right? One, two, three, four. So you divide this by four, and we'll figure out which notch we're at right now. One, two, and a half. So we're going to say 2.5. Uh, answer times 2.5. And that'll give us 32.50 for um, for the zone one. This is 32.50 on the electric field. And so that's what we'll put in right here, 32.50. And for the area of zone one, it's just pi r squared, right? So pi r1 squared. So now we have our, um, our, our current for, well, we have the expression for this zone. And then the second zone, we can kind of say it's the same current. So that, that's great. Uh, but we'll just say it's also the same conductivity, so that's pretty cool. And then over here, it's just going to be 5200, because that's the one that we kind of maxed there, and then R2 squared, okay? And then for the third section, again, it's all the same current, which is excellent, and the same conductivity, and here we could scale this down, so we have 5200 divided by 4 times 1.5, and we'll get 1950, then we'll go pi, R3 squared. Now the cool thing is we know R3. So if we were to uh, uh, put this all together, we can kind of say that like, okay, uh, let's try to solve, let's try to put these two together because we'll just go that, um, we'll, we'll set these equal to each other because this is equal to that. So we'll just set that this is equal to that. And we'll just go um, C5200 um, and then pi R2 squared is going to be equal to C1950 and then pi, uh, whatever this is, so 2.25 E to the negative third and then squared. And so now uh, we should be able to divide, uh, divide everything by uh, conductivity and then 5200 pi. So that will just get rid of um, all this stuff on this side. Right? And we'll just square root the whole thing, and we'll get R2. Our, our so let's try that in our calculator, keeping in mind these are going to cancel, these are going to cancel, and this can even pop out of the square root so that we'll just multiply, uh, we'll just multiply like this fraction by that number. And so we'll kind of have um, a square root of 1950 
over 5200 times 2.25 e to the negative third and r2 is equal to 1.38 uh, millimeters all right and we'll repeat the same kind of thing for r1 we'll just say that the connectivity of uh, 3250 pi r1 squared is equal to the connectivity of 1950 pi and then there's the 2.25 e to the negative third squared keeping in mind again we'll just divide this by uh, c3250 pi getting rid of that and then square rooting that get rid of that and, uh, and, uh, and, and canceling these constants here. So we'll just say that the square root of uh, 1950 over 3250 uh, times 2.25 e to the negative third, and then we'll find that R1 is equal to 1.74 millimeters. All right, not too bad.